Hi right, guys, my name is Fire Fire and welcome back to another episode of Stranded Deep. Now, today, what I want to do, I am tired of this starting island. I want to find an island where we can build quite a big base. And I want to become to a point where food and water is producing itself sort of thing. So what I mean by that is you can use uh, the leaves, the little leaves, to put down here and to put with the fire. It takes a lot, it takes 12 for here and I think 18 for here. But then we can also plant quite a few. So I'm hoping that I can make enough so that I can water it, farm it and use it in sort of like a recycled way where we don't miss anything and maybe even get extra leaves to use the string later on. Another reason why I wanna do that is that I found out that sticks are not unlimited. They're actually finite. And we need sticks for arrows and stuff like that. And I mostly would never go through this whole world of sticks, but I want to make sure that it doesn't ever come to that point. So I want to use as less sticks as possible. Just waiting for this uh, food to cook. And I think I found the perfect island. I haven't been there yet, but I was looking at the cartographer. If you don't know what that is, that's um, a menu before you log in and it shows you your world, your generated world basically. And there's a few bosses around me. But there's this island called the Ancient Something Island. And it's in between a boss and a an important ship, I think, because the ship is red. Um and I wanna go and maybe build a base there because it's quite close to a boss, that means we can maybe hunt the boss at some point. And there's other bosses quite close to it as well, so it'll give us all that sort of late game or end game stuff that we need to do. So I want to go and check it out, and then if it seems pretty good, I will start moving the base over there. Obviously, I won't make you lot watch me move the base over there, because that's going to be pretty boring. But the main thing of this episode is to go and check it out. And now to get there, we need to go... So that's north. I think we need to go this way. Yeah, so that island there. Or is it there? It should be around here. And then we go south. So it's mostly that island there. And the reason why I'm doing that is because if I go straight south, I think I run into the boss. I think the boss is around here somewhere. And I don't think I'm prepared for that yet. So we got vitals, check. Um. Yeah, I think we can just pretty much go there and start setting up some stuff. So let's um, unanchor this. And let's uh, get out there, see how it see how it goes. All right, All right. The main thing is to not get stuck, like I always do. All right, it looks like we're in a good position. 18 days survived. That's crazy. All right, put that down. And I'm stuck. <laughs> and I'm stuck again. Wow. Um, if there's one thing I'm good at, it's getting stuck. All right. Let's try that again. Put that down. Operate that. And we're gonna go that way. So, oh, these containers are in such a weird position. So I think, oh, I didn't know I could change that. Okay, go straight ahead, mate. Um, I think that, oh, it's going the wrong way. Where are you turning to, my friend? Don't you need to be going this way here. So let's get off that and see what our compass is. Yeah, that looks pretty much east. Oops, did I drop my compass? Ah, don't want to lose that. That is important. All right, so I'm going to go around and I will see you guys there. And I will pop back in if anything fun happens. 
Mm-hmm. All right, so I think I found the island. And that's the ship I was talking about. So that's something important. So at least we're close to that. And there's a boss round here somewhere. So we're slowly coming up to the island now. Let's uh, get off that. And I think this island looks... It's a decent size, actually. I think that's a decent size. Yeah, that should be fine. But yeah, I wonder what's in there. That should be interesting. And I was thinking we are going to make a... Um, a sort of water base. So I've realized you can put foundation on water. So it'd be nice to make like sort of like a little dock. We're going to have obviously a farming area, bedroom, uh, and what other areas we can make. Storage area maybe. It should be pretty good. It looks like there's a lot of... Um, s s what is it? I was going to say sewage. Uh, salvage, that's the word. There's a lot of salvage around here. But yeah, definitely going to check out that ship soon. But I think maybe we'd need some weapons. I do have a weapon, so maybe I should be fine. Also, one thing I really want to do is clear this place of snakes. But I think this is going to be our new home. So, I do need to make a save point here. There's, look, look at all this salvage. Another island close by. There was an island down there. I think my home island is down there somewhere. But I think there's a boss around there. Maybe we'll try and uh, check that boss out this episode as well. But yeah, it looks lovely. And let's just take a look around the island. Where are we going to build our base? I like the fact there's another item close by. Get some resources. You know what, it might be fun building our base. Looking out at this, at this bad boy over here. That could be interesting. And I think there should be two snakes on this island. There's some meat, there's a boar there that really wants my ass. Go away. Apparently I need to cool down as well. Okay, this place looks good. I need to set up a bed though. I need to set up a save point. Can I open this? I'm burning up. I can. And it's given me some less sunburn, should I say. Okay, cool. I'm going to get my uh, sunburn stats back up and start farming some materials so we can make a little uh, bed and all that. And I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, and we are back. I've set up a little um, little outpost, you could say just to get us started. So what I'm gonna do on this episode, because obviously I, there's not enough time to start building the base now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go check out this um, this ship quickly and see where that leads us. I just wanna make sure we cook some food first and um, get our health back up, because as you can see, I'm nearly dead. <laughs> I got attacked by snakes, by crabs, uh, by everything really. But when we do finish, when we do come back in the next episode, I should have farmed quite a lot of stuff to start the bases of our... Um, I wonder if I can get up there. Start the bases of our base. And I do want to get water and food production on a regular basis sort of thing. So maybe making... Uh, what are they called? The bird snare. Now, I don't know how that works. I've never used it before, but that could be fun. If we're out in the water, we could have some fish traps, maybe. And obviously having a few of these and a few of the yakka trees growing. And get as many things from my old base. But that's going to be a, a lot of it done off camera. Oh, I've got more crab. Nice. Oh, it's disgusting. Lovely. Crab meat. Let's attach that there. 
Hopefully that will get done soon. Takes a while to cook. And then we can pop over there. Um, let me just collect some stuff as we're waiting. Seems to be quite a few things over here. And I had a... I killed a boa here. But I don't know where it's gone. That's the, that's the baby one. I'm going to leave that one. I do have a little bit of a heart. Um, there it is. Now it's next to that crab, so I'll leave that for a sec. I need to get my health back up. I don't know why that was beeping a lot. I know I'm nearly dead, but we should be okay. We should be able to deal with it. All right, let's uh, get some palm leaves for that as we're waiting still. Now I need my skill levels to go up because the better the skills you are in certain things like harvesting, the faster it is to harvest. And attacking will be, well, what is it called? Hunting would be the best because these little critters here pretty much kill me. Ah, right, don't drop that. So, and I need to get a bow. You know, I need to do some long range attacks. None of this running up to them and stabbing them with a spear anymore. All right. Got a bit of water coming in. That's lovely, lovely jubbly. Cooked meat. And the better cook you are, the more calories you get back. So now, am I healthy? I am healthy. So my um, health should be going up, as you can see. Lovely. Not that much, but it's enough. Right, we're going to save it because I have no idea what's out here. And I'm going to drop a few things as well because I don't need to bring all this stuff. It would be nice if I can bring a few things back. I shouldn't need water for now. Um, yeah, we'll keep all that. Keep that just in case. Yeah, we'll keep that stuff. This, we don't need all the torches. We don't need the hammer. That can all go here. And this can all go here. We're just dumping everything here, pretty much. This would be vital for when we build our base anyway. So might as well just leave everything there. Luckily, things don't despawn. I'm going to bring a flare gun with us, just in case. Alright, again, save it, because I don't want to do all of that again. My meat is not cooked, which is going to be a waste. Oh, it just got cooked. Cool, we can put that out. Eat that. Drink one more. And done. Right. Let's get out there. Right, then. So we're going to go around this way. Um, hello? Thank you. Let me grab you, please. Still too, a bit too shallow. As you can see. All right, this should be deep enough. All right, let's go and see what this is about. If I can get up on my raft, that is. No, don't go straight into my island. I just took you out of there. Come on, turn around. You can do it. That's what I like to see. Now, hopefully it doesn't storm or anything. I can't actually see because these containers. Maybe I need to put them behind me somehow. They're not in the best place. There we go. Alright, All right. I wonder why it's like 
red. Is there like a boss on here? I know, I think most bosses are underwater, so I don't know if there's a above ground boss. But we're about to find out. It's exciting stuff, right? I'll see you there. Okay, we are here. Look at this bad boy. What loveliness am I going to find in here? And I can already see um, crabs. I'm not excited about the crabs, I'm telling you that now. All right, let's drop the anchor. And put you down. And look, poison straight away. Okay. We're just going to run past the crab. And see what special stuff we get in here. Oh, already a chest. Driftwood. Okay. Not seen that before. Nice amount of stuff in there. I'll take that chest in a bit. Let's go and see what's upstairs first. Because you can't make chest, I need to grab as many. That was a fail. If you can't make chests, I need to grab as many chests as possible. So that I've got a lot of storage when I need it. But I'm gonna get out a spear. You never know. You just never know. I wonder how this got even got on this little island and got so rusted. So far it's been a bit uneventful. I was hoping to find a lot more things in here. Maybe more upstairs. Okay. Oh, a door. Okay. I think this is how we escape, isn't it? Repair plane. Repair, repair plane, engine, propeller, cockpit, stock food, stock water, stock fuel. Water. Okay, so you put the water in there. Put the food in there. That's repairing all of that. Okay. So it's not about having anything special up here. It's about leaving the island end game completion that's not bad at all anything down here no so that is our goal at the end of the day to repair this now does it give me the recipes because i have seen there is a story section there we go so you can't see it yet so maybe i have to go to it Maybe I need to click on it. That's the fuel. Build rudder pedal. Engine propeller. Okay. So how do I get it unlocked? Was there like a level? No, there wasn't. Maybe I need to kill the bosses. Maybe the bosses have an item on them that they've digested or something. Okay, so that's all that is in here then. So that's end game. We've got to remember that. It's not going to be hard to remember, to be honest. But yeah, now let's go and grab the stuff outside. And that's this area done. It's pretty quick, to be honest. All right, what is driftwood? And can I pick it up? I can't pick it up. I can't drag it. I can hit it. Okay, it gives me sticks, it looks like. 
Okay, I don't need that right now. Right, that we're gonna take. Oh, we've got barrels over here. I would like some barrels. But you see, I don't know how to get that back now onto my, um, onto my boat. Can I just pull it on my boat? Would it be fine like that? Anything else around this island? Hopefully a snake doesn't bite me because I've used my last antidote for now. There's a crab. Nothing over there. Cool. Let's try and get these barrels back. Try and put them on my boat and we'll see how it goes. So you can't pick them up, you can drag them. Luckily my boat's not too far. I just, really and truly, I really just want one for um, the hobo stove. Oh, there's another. Let's quickly get that. What's in there? More flare guns and uh, engines. I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the fact that I just got an extra chest. That's that's the most important thing. All right. Right, I got to be careful of um, things that poison me. So if I put this here, and I and I get up. Okay. Apparently, I don't want to get up. There. You know what? This is the hardest thing to get up on. And now I'm stuck. Like, literally. There we go, finally. Right. Oh, it doesn't like that. It doesn't like that at all. <laughs> yeah, I think that offsets the balance of it a bit too much. I feel like that's going to snap. Okay. Maybe we can do that. Maybe. But I think I'll end the episode here. Um, all I'm doing is getting this back to my base. And then uh, we'll check out base building on the next episode. Starting our proper base and our proper farming. And thank you very much guys for watching. And taking the time out of your day to see this episode. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.